Is Bob Pancakes hot? What are these flip flops? Hello there, honey buns, and welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, I'm Purple Hair Anna, and welcome. So, in today's video, we are continuing the cast makeover of all the townies that come in with the sims game we've only done one family so far and that was the bff household if you want to check out my bff household makeover i will be leaving a link in the description below so that you can check it out but today we are not going into the bff household we are going someplace much much darker and that is none other than the pancakes family today i will be giving a makeover to the pancakes i have already made my research about the family i will be sharing everything i know about them with you guys and it's just you probably already know but i've never actually played with any of the townies so it was really interesting for me to you know understand their story read about them just you know get to know the sims characters so let's get to know the pancakes so the pancakes family is a pre-made household featured in willow creek from the sims 4 base game it consists of a couple bob pancakes and eliza pancakes the two appeared in the official stay weirder trailer for the sims 4 which featured bob as a protagonist described as the least interesting sim in the world and let me tell you that's an understatement they may be loosely based on the newbie family from the original sims as in both households the husband name is bob while the wife's name eliza and betty are both derived from the same root name elizabeth furthermore aspects of their appearances are similar to the various pc and console version of the newbies their apparently unhappy marriage may be a reference to the fan theory that developed during the sims 3 that betty's ambitions in life suffered as a result of her marriage to bob so this is actually the newbie family that comes in with the first game honestly i i, I don't remember ever playing with them. I, I just don't. I mean, I have played ever since the first Sims. I've played Sims 3 the most. Now Sims 4. But I, I do not remember this family. I'm not gonna lie. Poor, poor Bob and Eliza. Have they ever been happy? It seems there's nothing one can do to please the other. Just what keeps this couple together? Or conversely, what is the spark that will finally drive them apart? Okay, so here we have Bob Pancakes. Let's read a little bit about him before we go on ahead and give him a makeover. So Bob is a young adult. He has the MasterChef aspiration and works in the culinary career at level 3. He has 3 skill points in each cooking and mixology and 1 skill point in video gaming. Okay, he's... You can kind of tell that he's the most dull character ever, especially when you find out his traits. So he is a slob, he's gloomy, and he's a loner. I'm starting to empathize with Eliza, but you know, everybody's got their ways and plus he has the Master Chef aspiration, which means he does like have a goal in life. He wants to be a good cook. So I mean I don't think that's gonna be enough for Eliza, but it is what it is. So I'm just going to be duplicating them so that we can do it before and after. Okay, so Bob, my friend, what is your walk by the way? I think this is yep. different. Oh no, it's, it's the most normal, boring walk of them all. Okay, there's not much we know about the couple. We have no idea how they actually got together, which is pretty interesting because their characters are quite uniquely different. I mean, as you can see, he's a disaster. But apparently they found some common ground, so I mean, I can't, I can't blame the guy. Oh my gosh, what is this jaw? Oh Jesus Christ. Okay, we're gonna fix this, I promise. We're gonna fix this with CC, okay? Let's start with the eyebrows, which are just... Who gave you those eyebrows? How much did they hate you when they gave them to you? I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the NM Sims number 7 eyebrows because I think... I don't think anymore. I have no clue. It's gonna be tough giving him a makeover, but we're gonna do the best we can. Okay, I'm kinda digging this skin number 16 young. I mean, I'm going to try to link all the CC that I'm using in the description down below. I've started making a list about the BFF family and I will link it, I promise. So maybe Maybe we could find something for you, my boy. But can we can we really? Can we really find something for you? I think this is too realistic. Kind of freaks me out. Ooh, Arnold's skin is actually looking pretty good on him. Okay, so there is this Arnold skin, but I'm not sure which swatch he would be. Like this one maybe? Maybe this comes closest to what I'm going for, but he looks so real, oh my gosh. Wow, you look depressed even now. Okay, so I am gonna be using the Arnold skin overlay and let's find some some nose masks because honey, you're in total need of one. Okay, I think this cosmetic contour is actually pretty cute on you. Oh my god, is Bob Pancakes hot? Like what? I'm not gonna speak too fast because you never know, but all in all, for now, 
Good job. Okay, so let's give you some eyelashes, my darling. I feel like you would have the most boring eyelashes of them all. So, okay, for some reason, my my eyelashes from my skin details are not working. So I'm gonna be giving them to him from accessories because I have them here as well. What is this eye shape? What is... What is going on? Okay, there you go. Version 2 of Kiko. They're not boring eyelashes, but they look boring on you. Let's look for some beautiful eyes for you, darling. I usually use most of this uh, Prawl line number 153. This is this is like my favorite eyes. It has almost all the colors in it. So let's see. You have a little bit of light. So maybe this. Yeah, I think this is fine. Oh my gosh. Pancakes? Would you eat a pancake with this dude? Okay, he's actually starting to look... I don't want to say it, but he looks good. And as for beards, I am going to have to ask you for a favor. I do not have many beards, as you can see. I have like... 5 cc for beards so please leave them in the comments down below leave me some links show me some nice facial hair some nice beards he did have a very very strong beard before and oh my gosh just look how much better he looks right <laughs> Eh. He looks more real, but he looks better as well. So he actually has this whole beard that... Honestly, I don't think I have CC like that. But I do kind of have this. So this kind of comes close, right? It comes the closest. I mean, there's a lot of hair here, which he does have. I mean, he does have a mustache as well, but this is like less mustache. But it's my makeover. I say we go for it. This beard really highlights the shape of his face, which is a little weird, but... Pop pancakes, what can you do? Okay, now as for hair, my darling, you have the most boring hair. Hey, good. Okay, I have this, which I think... I mean, I don't know, it's not a lot like his, but it's still... It's the closest CC that I have to his real hair. There is like this, which is... I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really digging it. I think the closest that I have would be this, and maybe... I I think I'll keep it. Yeah, I'll keep it. It's... I mean, it's bald. You won't be mad at me if I don't make him perfect, right? Okay, let's move on to your clothes, which are just... Bob, why? Why Bob Pancakes? Tell me why. why, why, why? Okay, I guess this was kind of his shirt, right? I mean, it's CC. It's better than what he had on before, but at the same time, I'm not so sure that I want to give that to him. I could give him a cyberpunk t-shirt because that is a video game that came out recently, and he has one skill in the video gaming, so maybe he would actually like it and be cocky enough to wear a t-shirt of it. So, as for the pants, as for the pants, my darling. Are those, like, boat pants or something? I don't know what they are, but I don't like them. Oh my god, this looks so bomb. You can't tell me that this doesn't look so bomb. It's like, he just came out of his bedroom, playing video games neglecting his wife and being like yeah i'm just a loner a slob and i'm gloomy you can tell just by looking at my outfit this definitely does suit him i mean i'm far off what he was wearing but can you blame me i mean come on okay bob let's give you some shoes because i want to move on to eliza so that i can tell you much more about her because she is an interesting fella as well orange shoes Boring, boring, boring. So I think I'm just gonna give him the most normal Converse shoes ever because he wouldn't buy anything else. I mean, it's too much work. He wouldn't care. And okay, he did have a watch, so let me give him a watch. I give him a slightly different watch and I think... I think we are done with our Bob Pancakes. You can go on ahead and tell me what you think of him in the comments down below. Don't worry if it's rough. I'll take it. Okay, so let's move on to Eliza. Okay, let's first get to know her character before giving her a makeover. So Eliza pancakes is a young adult she has the mansion baron aspiration and is unemployed at the start of the game she is very close to completing the first level of her aspiration and buying one or two artworks at the house should get her to the next stage her house features both a painting easel and a sculpture sculpture table and she will often roll once to use these objects at the start of the game perhaps implying that she hopes to be a self-employed artist however she has no skills yet on either object and it may take some time for her product to become profitable, meaning it would be better to get her a traditional job at least. She has three points in the fitness skill, so this is Eliza, you already saw her. I mean, just look at them. Just look at them. I mean, how did these two even start dating? How... How are they married? I don't know, maybe it was a drunken mistake. Maybe they were in Vegas and got drunk and she was like, okay, let's get married, but I don't know. She's also neat, perfectionist, and materialistic. So by her traits and by her aspiration, you can already tell that she is a very materialistic sim. She wants, you know, all the posh stuff. She wants to be bougie. You know, she just wants to be cool and sims, you just... You took it all away from her, didn't you? Oh my god. 
She does have some freckles that I will remember and give back to her, but for now, oh Jesus. I mean, you could tell that this is the wife of Bob Pancakes, right? But it's okay, honey. I am here to help you. Okay, I am going to be twitching her eyebrows because honestly, I don't think I don't think I can without touching them a little bit. I mean, why are they all the way up here? It's like <laughs> Get down! Get down from your pedestal! Okay, so I guess this would be the red. She does have green eyes, which is pretty cute. Okay, skin details, my love. Let's see what we- Oh! The first one I put just looks so cute with the freckles on her. Okay, there is this also Mirabella V1 skin. Okay, I also have this Scav03. I can't read the name, but this is the skin. I think it actually... I don't know. It makes her more cute. Here you go. I did not forget the freckles. I never forget freckles. Let's give her a cosmetic contour. It's the same one I gave to Bob. It's just for women. Okay, and as she is, you know, not gloomy like her husband, maybe I could give her like more smile, lip corners. Okay, let's give you some eyelashes, love. And why are her eyes so small? And why were Summer Holiday's eyes so big? It's like, can't you do something in between Sims? Okay, but I kind of feel like she'd have these big eyelashes because, you know, she has big ambitions. So let's give her the biggest eyelashes there are but maybe not these ones exactly these ones these ones okay i'm gonna use these ones because i think they actually look better on her and glasses oh my gosh i gotta give her glasses i can't give her glasses because if i do they go off the eyelashes i mean and i don't want the eyelashes to go oh my gosh what are we gonna do i don't know why the eyelashes don't actually work from here i mean they should why are they making this harder for me i mean i can't not give her glasses but these eyes it's like they can't go unattended you know these are actually pretty cute glasses I would give it to her, but oh. I did not think about this problem before I started this video. Okay, this might be a problem. I mean, she can't go without eyelashes. That's just absurd. Okay, I'm gonna keep her without glasses. I'm gonna try to fix the bug, and then I'm gonna put glasses on her, okay? Okay, so I did make her eyes a teeny tiny bitsy bigger because they were really small. I don't know. I'm not digging her so far. That's really sad. Do you have any makeup on? No. I mean, look at her. Like, why? Why, game? Why? Let's give her some blush a little bit because she doesn't usually have it on. But in my case, I always put blush on my sims. You would know if you're a honey bun. Okay, so she doesn't have an eyeliner. She has nothing, I think. Does she like have... No, she does not have any makeup on. Wow. Okay, your life is boring, babes, but you do you. Let's move on to hair. It's time for the stuff that I'm actually good at. So we have short red hair. I need her glasses and I need them bad. I think I'm gonna actually give her glasses. Her eyes look so naked. How is it not that The Sims game doesn't offer eyelashes? I feel like that, that should be a thing. But okay, let's move on to your hair. We'll think of the eyes later. She doesn't look better, you guys. She just looks worse. Okay, I guess there is this that is really her style. All of the eyebrows, now that I'm seeing them again, they're like in my face yeah okay i'm gonna have to give her the eyelashes this is just a game it wants to make me suffer but i'm not gonna allow it okay you're having your eyelashes just these eyebrows i'm sorry i'm just i think i'm gonna have to bring them a little bit more down like this okay there you go you can draw your eyebrows okay i can draw my eyebrows this big if i wanted to so you're changing up your eyebrows oh, there's also this Ooh, she actually looks pretty cute with this. I got some new Nightcrawler hair just because they- I think they're my favorite creator of all time. So it's totally worth it. Oh my gosh. She actually looks so cute with this hair. Okay, so I'm torn in between this one and this one. But I think this one is the shorter one that she has on, so it's fine. Let's just give her her accessories with this hair. Did I not download the accessories with this hair? Oh, there it is. It's just- it has no picture. It's fine. What does it say? Drip and glam. That is totally Eliza style. So I'm gonna give her these. Maybe I can give her- oh no, I can't. Anyway. Okay, so let's move on to the outfit, which is just... What is that? What is that? I mean, woman! What are these flip-flops? What is it with The Sims putting flip-flops on people? No. I actually once had a nightmare that I was wearing flip-flops outside and I was not at the sea, so it's just a scary thing, okay? Okay, so she is posh. That is why I want to 
dress her posh. I mean, the woman deserves it. They give her flip flops. Maybe this is actually a pretty cute t-shirt, you know, like so much better than that. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this and let's give you some nice jeans, my love. Thank God it is the clumsy alien jeans because they're the best jeans. In fact, I totally recommend you checking out clumsy alien all of their cc there is nothing that isn't good in fact these are the pants i use most even i would say i only use these pants look at how good they stay on her every single jean that i'm gonna put on it just looks so natural but i am going to stick to these ones okay i'm not gonna give you flip flops because i don't hate you so let's find you some shoes for a lady who wants to be a mansion baron and is materialistic and a perfectionist i mean if i was a perfectionist would i put on flip flops no i would not okay i don't know why they chose those killer colors killers i mean i kept the purple it's still an open shoe but it's a sandal it's not flip-flops so this is the updated version of eliza as well so before i end this video there is something that caught my attention and it was a plumbella video of the entire history of the pancakes family and that is when i found out they actually had a child together that is what actually saved their marriage at least that's what they say it did so we're going to be giving a makeover to little iggy pancakes as well so this is little iggy i'm i don't think this is the original post of the pancakes family it should be on max's but i wasn't able to find it so i'm just going to be placing them here so there we have little iggy who is of course oh my gosh too many household members he is a little charmer i think he's the reason that their marriage actually survived and by the way i have a question if you guys played with the pancakes family did they end up together or did you drift them apart I would really like to know without any further ado little Iggy stop moving Okay, you have your dad's hair your mom's eyes and honestly, I don't know Let's read something about little Iggy so that I know how to dress him Pancakes is a pre-made sim and the first toddler to be uploaded into the gallery by the official Maxis account He is the son of Bob Pancakes and Eliza Pancakes However, as he only exists in the gallery his, his existence can be considered a non-canon to players who did not download him Iggy's biography implied that he might have saved their rocky relationship. His features are a mixture of his parents, Iggy has medium skin, his father's black hair and hazel eyes, and seems to be a mix of his father's brown eyes and his mother's green eyes. Oh, and he also appears in the trailer for The Sims 4 Dream Decorator as both a toddler and a teen. What? Really? Oh my god, this is him. This is teen Iggy. Oh wow, okay, I did not know that he was there, but look, look at the most boring sim in the world, the pancake sim. Just being happy with his child, I cannot believe it. He doesn't even have a smile on his face, but look at it. Look at it, wow, okay. So little Iggy, you're you're the savior of them all. Little charmer. And by what skills does he grow up with? So he's neat and gloomy. You're literally your mom and dad into one. You, I don't know, the future's gonna be nice for your child. In any case, we will be giving you a cutie tiny makeover. And I feel like I should give you the same hair I gave to your dad. Or maybe this one, but we'll see. Do I have your dad's hair? Okay, sadly, I do not have his dad's hair, but I do have this hair, which comes close, so... I'm gonna be giving him this hair. Let's give you some nice eyebrows, child. And just what are they doing like this? No one has eyebrows like an arc. I don't. I don't understand. Okay, I'm just gonna pull them down a little bit more now. See, this is a cute child. I like that. I totally like that. I'm gonna give the nose contour that I gave to your parents to you too, child. And maybe some mouth corners so that it seems you smile because you're the reason that the pancakes stay together. I mean, that's a great, great honor. Okay, he's actually pretty adorable. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't expecting it, but he is. Okay, I'm gonna give a mixture of his father's eyelashes, but I'm gonna give him more of his mom's because I think it's cuter. Oh, maybe I should give him a... I, I, I never know the name of this thing. One day I will, I promise. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the neutralist color of all, which is gray. Okay, let's dress you, child. I don't know what you're wearing right now, but you're not wearing it anymore. Okay, so this child is a charmer and he's cute and he is Eliza Pancake's child, so I feel like he would dress really good, you know, very nicely. Even though she doesn't work, Bob does work in the culinary career, so he's the money maker. I feel like she'd be the one only dressing the child, you know, so maybe he's a little sports fan because, you know, uh, Eliza has the fitness skill. So maybe she gets him into sports, like 
the ducks so you're from the ducks iggy oh my god these are pants that your dad would have worn if he was a toddler so i gotta give them to you let's give you some shoeies i'm gonna give you these shoeies because i think they look cute yeah and okay i think this is actually it i think i am done we have poor old boring bob pancakes the least favorite sim of them all and there is his twin his hot twin might i say because i think even though he looks a little bit too realistic for me he actually doesn't look that bad i mean i wouldn't date him because of his traits but i can't blame eliza okay i don't know what she's going through maybe she's just sick and then we have eliza who's just her ambitions are gonna get to her nowhere if she looks like this that is why we gave her a glittery makeover and of course the glasses i'm so sorry about the glasses i'm gonna be trying to fix that before i upload them to the gallery and of course we have Will Iggy, who is the one who actually saved his parents' marriage. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please do not forget to give it some love. And also, I hope to see you next week when we are going to do the Spencer Lewis Kim family makeover. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope to catch you next week.